Welcome to the reading of Turning 25 on my 52nd birthday. This is a story of my life right after my divorce as I grew into a new woman. Please comment any questions on the video below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And thank you so much. Please like and subscribe also. Thanks. Chapter 45. Veronica was really starting to panic about not having someone. And she was also trying to figure out how to start getting herself out there for when she started working on her exercise videos. And also for when she published her book. She started an Instagram account under a bogus name. <laughs> she actually used the name of the character in her book. <laughs> she decided that she would not friend anyone that was in her business or personal life. She wanted to just be her. She wanted to post whatever it was she wanted to post. She started with posting pictures that she already had. She posted some of her lingerie pictures that were just some nice and some just some nice pictures. Then she started taking more and more pictures of herself to post. Most were not overly sexy, but she started to get a few followers. She sometimes just didn't know what she really wanted out of life. It was like she was now thin and she looked good and she was able to do whatever she wanted, but she didn't know what she wanted. She was in a huge lull. It was like, now what? I, didn't ha I don't have any friends. I don't have a man or even a casual sex partner. I dislike my job. What do I have and what do I want? This really started eating at her more and more, which didn't help her anxiety and panic attacks. There was not much <clears throat> going on. She scheduled her surgery for April, and that was starting to worry her a bit also. <clears throat> this was not helping her panic attacks. The winter was getting really hard with the quitting smoking, the surgery, the move, and she was really wondering if she would ever find a man. Not a man necessarily to spend the rest of her life with, but a man to be a friend or to have sex on occasion. Veronica refused to do the online dating. Every time she would think about wanting to go out with some of the guys, she would just check it out anyway. What she knew for sure was that she really needed a job that kept her mind occupied. She was so terribly bored at work. Even when she was doing new things, there was just no happiness in, in what she did. She enjoyed going out of town and being around smart, fun, enthusiastic people, but not when she had to be in the office. She knew the software like the back of her hand, it was just time. She just wasn't quite sure how to get there. Rick was at least still staying in communication. Sometimes she wished, wished like hell that they could have had more of a relationship. And sometimes she just wished he would go away. <laughs> they discussed spending an evening together in a couple weeks. She was looking forward to her next visit. She bought a leash and handcuffs and a ball gag. Um, she thought, well, at least, I'm <laughs> sorry, she thought, well, at least they would have fun. If, it, if he didn't want to use them, then he could just take some pictures. It seemed her Instagram account was attracting some followers, mostly fitness people. She used hashtags for staying in shape, staying fit, etc. She also had a lot of um, out there for sexy over 50, so she was attracting younger men who enjoy older women. She didn't really expect this. She was having fun messaging a couple of the young men. It was fun, but it was not real. So um, that's kind of a short chapter. And um, so we're getting ready for the surgery. And the surgery, again, was just um, some skin removal. Uh, I had lost about eight inches in my hips. And um, there was just a lot of extra skin here. You know, that altogether, I lost 70 pounds, 75 pounds, actually. So... Um, there was a lot of extra skin and I just, I, I wanted to look like I felt because I felt really good and I felt really in shape and there was just that little nagging butt issue that I had. So, because um, <laughs> that's where the extra skin was, was really just right around my behind and my hip area. So, um, that's all they were going to do. That was the surgery. So, um, and that was coming up, and it was scary, and yes, I do smoke, and I had to quit because nicotine blocks your small, um, little tiny blood vessels, or capillaries, and healing is just not near as, as good, especially around the scar area. So, you know, he wouldn't have even done it if I had nicotine in my system. So we're getting ready for that, too. Um, that's coming up. So we'll talk, definitely we'll get there in the book. And um, that was Chapter forty. Um, that was chapter 45. <laughs>